Hey guys, welcome to my channel Hammond's Hobbies. Today I'm going to be actually filling in the XL Jumbo Card Binder that uh, came out a little while ago because there's been quite a few new Jumbo Cards that have come out. So I thought, why not have a little update on my binder and what we've got so far. Who knows, one day these may become really, really popular and uh, I'll have one of every single card and I thought I'd show you it along the way. So let's get right into it. So before we get into it, I just want to say a huge thank you to everyone. I've had a bit of bad luck recording videos lately, so hopefully you're seeing this. Um, but if, if you are, make sure you smash up that like button for me. It helps the channel grow to new people, and that helps me out. And also, if you are new to this channel and you like this sort of content, smash the subscribe button. I'm just generally opening stuff up that I like. So it's just stuff that I like. So typically Pokemon and F1, rather than trying to spread myself too thin, I'm trying to just focus in so I know more about uh, Pokemon and F1. But I am looking at, I really want that new Akira box set uh, that's just come out, the um, sort of like comic book collection. Um, and I'm really into, I really like Ghostbusters stuff. You, you may have noticed in the background, I actually have a Ghostbusters <laughs> Um, registration plate there and I have a little Ghostbusters toy so there's the new Ghostbuster film coming out very shortly so just things like that things I like that's what I share on this channel so if you want to see more content like that smash the subscribe button and also hit that like so today we're talking about XL jumbo cards now some of you out there may just completely switch off at this point and go I'm not interested in jumbo cards I'm coming out that's fair enough. I, I, I appreciate that. But I actually quite like some of the artwork from the Jumbo cards. Um, and it's nice seeing some of the cards that are fan favourites in like a really blown up uh, um, size. Like some of the Charizard ones look really cool. Um, unfortunately though, Pokemon changed the size of these cards. So the, the Jumbo cards previously were about this big. So they don't actually fit in the sleeves. So you can only put the modern stuff in here, but obviously since they brought this binder out, that's when they changed, or just before that, they changed the size. So these are the new celebration promo cards. So we're gonna add these into our binder. These are the 25th anniversary sets that have been coming out and they're releasing them every what, once a month. Um, so I already have the first couple of sets. Uh, but I'm going to go to the back. So these are sort of like the XL Jumbo promo cards that have come out from sets that I've been buying along the way. Uh, so we've got the Dragapult V Max there. Look, looks really good. Uh, Poltgeist V. We've got the Pikachu Toxicity V. Eternus V with the Darkness of Blaze logo. I think that looks really cool. We've got the Vivid Voltage Pikachu V with the logo again. I think that's a cool looking card. So let's go and put these promos in before them for some reason i've got a massive crease down this sleeve don't know why so there's the dragapult one which you get from the celebrations dragapult uh box set has this really nice uh shimmery edging around it and obviously the artwork in the middle is also a hollow with little swirls and that around it which looks awesome and then we got dark sylveon as well looking pretty mean looking menacing there uh, we're gonna put that one in and now we have these which they sell them in smiths some of these are two pound fifty some of them are a fiver but i think they give them to you for free if you purchase so much pokemon stuff uh, don't quote me on that, but I know that I got some free before. So I'm going to have a little look back through at the beginning and see which ones I've actually got and not got. Smash that like button if you collect these as well, um, because there doesn't seem to be too much content on these Jumbo XL cards, actually. So it's, it's a shame because the artwork looks so good, especially with this 25th anniversary hollow on it. On the celebrations, this is just normal yellow, but on these XL cards, they're like this, um, like, I don't know, like glossy gold um which looks really cool I, I think that's cool right so we've got let's have a look what's the first pokemon we've got grow key which isn't in there at all turtwig so that means i've got this set already in there but let's put these in the backs of them turtwig. there we 
there we go nice and neat and then we've got chimchar and we've got piplup right so that must mean then i haven't got these three sets which is odd i thought i had more than that but never mind we've got them now hey you don't even let's have a look what we're getting here we've got oh no is that we've got another Did i already have rowlet oh, i didn't I swear i had that rowlet before never mind we've got rowlet we've got litten We need penny sleeves for these now. <laughs> uh, Pop Leo. All right, now we're down back. We've got Treco here. Let's put him in. We've got Torchic. They've even they've reprinted the card identically, so it has that sort of vintage look to it, I suppose, which looks pretty cool. And then we've got the mud kit. And then we've got Chikorita. We've got Cinderquill. And we've got Toto Dial. So, I need to get Lance's um, Charizard out of the uh, new celebration set that's out at the moment. Um, but this is looking nice and uh, stacked now. And I'll tell you what, the, the actual book itself, that is heavy. That feels heavier than a normal binder, like a 12-page one, oddly enough. Um, it's actually, it's sort of like opening up already because it's too fat, um, which doesn't bode well because I still want to fill this up even more. Um, so I might need a couple of these. Luckily, I did buy two of them. But yeah, I'm going to, as I go along and obviously as the new promo boxes come out, I'm going to keep up with these um, XL cards. So hopefully we should have a really big, healthy collection of XL cards inside an XL binder. Uh, but what do you guys think? Do you like these XL cards or do you just think they're a complete waste of time and money? I'd love to hear your thoughts. Please comment down below. Smash up that like button if you've liked this content. And if you are new to this channel, feel free to click subscribe where I'll be doing more content soon. The next video I'm going to be doing is actually putting all the celebrations together to in a binder so that we can have a look at what I've collected so far. Then hopefully we're going to get that Lance's Charizard collection that I'm going to open up on this channel. And then hopefully, we're going to be very close to completing the celebration set. We're still hunting down the Venusaur uh, from the uh, reprinted uh, vintage section. I don't know what, <laughs> the celebration set. Um, so if you want to uh, watch that journey of mine, make sure you click subscribe. And I'll see you guys on the next video from myself. Bye, guys.